Hello, so Alex has suggested I do a quick tour of this fox skeleton I found. It's just died uh, about a year ago behind our house. And I've been looking at it every so often thinking, well, once all the gunk comes off that, that would be a cool thing to clean up. Well, now that's happened. So as you can see, I've got a skull and the two paths of the lower jaw. And on the right there is the atlas, which is the... Uh, neck vertebra that connects with the skull. So that's that. Then down here we've got a more or less complete vertebral column. There might be a couple missing off the end of the tail. And got your forelimbs with the shoulder blade and your rear limbs there which are a little bit need to be stuck back together because the uh, Tibia, I think, is it tibia? I think that little one is very fragile. Then we've got a rib cage, which is quite tricky to put back together. And it's confused me at the minute, because there's uh, turns out that canines don't have a, a breastbone like us. They've got like a little um, array of, uh, almost like finger bones that go down the middle, which is quite interesting. And I didn't know, I was confused by those to begin with. And then finally we've got the fiddliest bit of all, which is the hands and feet, which are made up of, well, these are the um, metatarsals, or those might be the metacarpals, and these are the metatarsals, which are the hand bones. And then you have a number of wrist and ankle bones, which are just like lumps. They're quite hard to put back together. And then the finger bones are all here, and you can see... I think I've got all of them except maybe one or two, which is quite nice because they're quite tricky to find. And that's the just the rear of see the the pelvis there, all articulated. There's still a bit of cartilage on some of these, so it might be a bit, bit more of a clean up. And finally, some miscellaneous bits. So those are probably what it ate before it died. So. Hopefully they weren't a, a bad meal. And, uh, it's hard to know. There's a few injuries on the bones, so I think it was an older fox. It might have just come to the end of its life. We've got a fused tailbone there, so it probably broke it at some point. Anyway.